Joe. My name is Travis Snail. Let's get right into it. The second Infinity War trailer has just dropped. It's nice and bright and early here in Kelowna, BC. <sighs> Let's get into it. What do I want? I don't know what I want. I'm already amazingly excited for this movie. There couldn't be any more anticipation build up, but hopefully this trailer does this. Hopefully it just doesn't show like Captain America's head getting ripped off or Iron Man dying. You know, maybe it plays that a little close to the chest. I'm looking at it. It's 2 minutes and 18 seconds. I'm not sure what we're going to see. I'm very excited. This movie is just a little, almost a month away. Yeah, I'm excited. And I hope this is the last trailer, too. I know Star Wars did that. Um, they did the teaser and then the trailer. I hope this is it. But, okay. Let's go. Gamora, okay. Rhodey. To wipe out half the universe. Ca if he oh. gets all the infinity stones, half the universe. The snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. Huge shout out to the Infinity Gauntlet uh, comic book. Because he does that, he snaps fingers, takes out everybody. Peter. Ooh. That was cool. We have what Thanos wants. So that's what we use. Honda. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except for wow. it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. I'm surprised they show them together in the trailer. So good. Half of humanity will still exist. Flashback to Gamora. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. Oh. I hope they remember you. Oh. That's good. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, you're using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. <sighs> yeah, that trailer was just really good. It was just really good. I was. I'm surprised by a lot of the stuff in the trailer. I'm surprised that they showed like that moment of, even that moment with just Peter and Doctor Strange and they showed Star-Lord and then Doctor Strange and then Iron Man and then Peter again. I was surprised, I thought they might keep, I know they'd show that D23, so obviously like us as these big hardcore fans know that's out there, but I thought they might save that. But the other thing that's surprising is, I thought, my theory was that the ending of the movie was gonna kind of be separated in three sort of ways maybe two i'd say you kind of have the space battle going on and then you'd have the actual wakanda why did, why is wakanda higher than space i guess it kind of is maybe but <laughs> after the box office but then you have the wakanda battle going on and i thought they would kind of almost be like lord of the rings two towers where you had helms deep going on then you had frodo and sam's you know running away from the ring rapes and all that stuff like i thought it was kind of going to be parallel to that i still think it could be and then thanos maybe messes up everyone in space and comes down because I did not think Thanos was going to be on Wakanda. I did not think he'd be... I, I'm trying to think back from the first trailer and this trailer, but I didn't think he would be on Earth yet, maybe in the next movie, but I thought he would primarily be in space and that's why you'd be meeting the Guardians, right? Because they were going to have to be going up there, like Peter and Iron Man and everything like that and Doctor Strange, and then down below you kind of have, I think, more of your Earthbound heroes helping out, like Black Panther, Captain America, Black Widow... Um, take out Hulk, but the people that weren't scientists for the most part, like I said, take out Hulk that are going to be able to get a spaceship and go up there, but yeah, I'm that last shot of Cap and Thanos, and I think my theory is either in this one, and I think a lot of people feel, feel this way, I think in this one or the next one, Cap's going to go. He's the heart of this franchise. 
I think it's over for him. And I think that is maybe teasing that and maybe trying to get you a little used to the idea that there's going to be this big showdown. And man, that was great. Just with the glove and him just holding it. And you could just, oh, it's going to be good. Um, a couple other things. Again, we don't see much Loki in this trailer. My theory is that he dies like first half an hour. Even though you see him standing there with the Black Order, I'm not sure. But I love, you see him, you see Thanos literally just destroy the Tesseract. So maybe he does work with Thanos a little bit. I don't know how much that works. The only way to me that works is if he's working as like a kind of a mole sort of thing. And then he finds a way to help out the Avengers or help out Thor or whatnot. I thought he was going to maybe sacrifice himself for Thor. But again, we don't see him that much. No Hawkeye. The directors have said that Hawkeye's like on his own little mission there. I'm not sure what that is exactly. I'm not sure... I'm not sure how much of a role he plays, and I'm wondering if he'll be more in the next one, if he's this outsider doing his things. Clearly, I think him and Cap, I don't, I don't know if he, I don't know if he's just with his family. My suspicion is that, you know, Cap is, he's kind of doing the nomad thing. He's kind of being Captain America, but on the down low, and him and Hawkeye, if he needs something, he'd go to Hawkeye and say, oh, I need you to do this for me, and Hawkeye's out and about doing that. So, I'm not too sure. Action shots look great. I think the biggest thing with this trailer was just really to hit you over the head with, hey, if you don't understand what Infinity War is, it's every single Marvel movie character that you love, you know, they're coming together. And that's why, like I said, I was surprised about the Guardians. Oh, it wasn't a strange, it was Drax. But I was surprised by seeing them all together because I thought, I knew it was going to happen, but I thought they might hold back a bit. But this was their big final push, I think, to really show hey, you, this is the reason, yeah, you want to see it because it's Avengers 3, and yeah, you want to see it because it's the culmination of 20 years, but at the end of the day, they want to hit those people that are my mom that are going, oh, man, like, the Guardians are going to be with Spider-Man, or, oh, Iron Man's going to be with Doctor Strange, you know, like, they want to hit exactly what they did with the very first Avengers, was they want to create hype based upon just, oh, seeing these cool, not, like, cool shiny things together, these cool toys, these cool action figures that usually don't get to play together, but today they are. And then once you get there, hopefully, like Avengers, you go, man, this was just a great movie and I can't wait for the next one. I think they're going to do that. I don't think, I don't know for me if it's going to be better than Black Panther because Black Panther was just so phenomenal and this one has so many high stakes, but I think the Russos could do it because Civil War is my favorite Marvel film and I think that they... They've shown that they can juggle a lot. This is the biggest juggling act you could probably do in, I'd say, movie history as far as characters go. I know there's stuff like Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter, but those are, lots of them are side characters. Like, yes, Merry and Pippin are very important, but there was not Merry and Pippin in the movie. You know, like, all these people have had, almost all these people, most of the main guys, and no gals, but most all the main guys have had movies. And... In Civil War, they pulled off making it work as far as you get your con your Marvel comedy, you get your action. Every character has a moment, so something you can remember them for. And most characters, even if it was minor, had some sort of arc or some sort of meaning to the towards the story. This is that times, I don't know, five, because there's so much more added in. But the trailer's great. I can't get any more excited. And that's the thing, I think this trailer was enough. There wasn't... There's a lot of really cool moments, but I don't think there's anything that made me stand up and be shocked, but I don't want to be because I think that was the first trailer to see all that stuff, and now it's kind of stuff, the stuff that I would stand up and be shocked for, I don't want to see on my Mac. You know, this just confirms, this just shows, hey, it looks great, it gives a bit more of the story, which, and that's the other thing. Yes, it's cool that they gave a big shout out to Infinity Gauntlet because if you don't own the books, at one point that's what he does. Thanos has the glove, he literally just snaps his finger, and half the universe is gone. Will that happen in the movie? I don't think so, but them just shining that out is, it's great. And I think it also shows that, yeah, it, it could, some people might take that as a comedic line or something like that, but this trailer stressed about what Thanos' plan is and what he wants to do, and I think that was a good call, because the first trailer is just kind of him messing stuff up. This was the story trailer, this was the go-home trailer, this shows everything what Infinity War is going to be about without spoiling too much. And I think it was a phenomenal trailer because that's what you want to do. You want to get people excited. And I try to think about from the people like myself and the podcasters that don't talk about this every day, I think this does that. I think those moments of seeing them together, we can just assume that or we've heard stuff about D23. But when people see this, I think this is like a stand-up trailer. And I think people will love it. And uh, yeah, I loved it. So thank you very much for watching. We're so close. 
We're so close to Infinity War. Check out all our other reviews. We're reviewing a lot of movies coming up. You got Pacific Rim 2 next week. You got Rampage coming up. You got Ready Player One. We just reviewed Tomb Raider last night. Check out our newscast. Check out the gauntlet. Huge three-way match happening this weekend. Lots of good stuff, Drago and Geekers. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you like the trailer, let me know. If you if you thought there were some standout moments, I do think there's standout moments, but I don't think anything shocked me too much other than, one, I really loved Iron Man's little cool jetpack thing. I like Peter and Doctor Strange's interaction, but that shot with Cap and Thanos, that's the money shot. That is, oof. That, and good to see some flashbacks too. I'm, I'm If it's used correctly, which I don't think do they've done too many in Marvel. Yeah, we've been doing our Marvel Retro. Check out Marvel Retro. We're reviewing every Marvel movie next week. I think we're doing one every single week. Uh, Iron Man 3 is next. But it looks like they're using flashbacks. You got to see Gamora as a little child, so that'll be interesting. You got to see Man Titan and the Man Titan. <laughs> the mad time in his armor so yeah check out uh, check out our retrospective thank you very much for tuning in see you next time it won't be boring